This is Jamin Mayer with Parker Tree Service, Longmont, Colorado. This is uh, early December and uh, just going to do a series of videos of micro wee wood chipper operations and the pros and cons. In this case, is we're at a very large backyard. It's like a miniature soccer field. It's probably about a half of a soccer field, but my, my truck is way over there. In this case, I I only need a ramp, right, to get the chipper in and out of the truck. We went through that small narrow passage where the orange temporary fencing is, right? We worked on these uh, crab apple here. In this case, these folks didn't have a whole lot of uh, mulch in these raised beds. And uh, you can see this is what it has been looking at, like for a number of years. And I didn't want to bring you know i didn't want to walk brush from the chipper let's say if i had my other chipper in tow right so anyway i'm just blowing chips we're blowing chips in here this trash can was just used so kind of like a backstop so we wouldn't propel stuff into the neighbor's yard over there and then we also ended up doing a little bit of containment in that other trash can uh, to again further just avoid blowing chips over there so we actually had the the blue container here and then we capsize it over to dump it, right? And on Google, let's see, Google Earth satellite views, I took a measurement from that concrete pad to that farthest tree way over there. That's 150 feet. So we're working on fruit trees, ornamentals as we'll call them, right? Crab apple mainly in the backyard and there's a fruitless pear on the other side of the house over there. So let's see, in all we'll do three, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fruit trees in this backyard. And we're all just gonna basically chip right at the base of the tree. Cause as you can see, there's been a number of years where these folks, I believe they basically inherited, say, so to speak, they bought this property. So they inherited other people's maintenance or the lack thereof, right? So you can see all throughout here, there is a lot of missing mulch over the years and it's so missing the even the weed barrier has been just rotting or blowing away whatever right but from just a perspective from another tree guy to another tree guy that these little chippers i think are going to have their uses and in this case this is a really good scenario to show that it reduces the number of steps required by a groundsman to pull or walk tree branches you know hundreds of feet throughout the day you know you could think of the reduction of uh the number of trips yes there is the arbor trolley out there trolley that we have we do have and yes we can make a round of it several times and so on and so forth but it is also nice because the byproduct of our work is not coming with us right the byproduct is the mulch and there's other benefits to say that we're not carrying the mulch with us on this job or several jobs. And then being a smaller wood chipper, these are actually smaller bits of wood. And that was actually probably from a bigger piece of the tree, maybe a three inch branch or something like that. Anyway, the wood chips are fine. They're great, great quality, no problem. And hopefully that helps some of the other tree guys out there that might be considering something like that.